Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Inkscape 1.1. Inkscape is a free and open source vector creation tool which you can use to create professional grade vectors and by default this is a tool that is available for cross-platform. So whether you're working in Linux, Windows or Mac you can actually go ahead and grab this. So this version does come with a couple of updates and also some very interesting things and the version 1.1 which is right here is also something that I would suggest that you go in check out especially if you like to work with vectors and you don't want to be tied to a license this is probably something that you would like to take a look at now today we're going to go in and take a look at some few tools and some few updates that is now available here talk about some things that work talk about some things that doesn't work and also it would make a lot of sense for those who are coming to Inkscape or for those who are seeing Inkscape for the first time to see what the UI actually looks like so with Inkscape simply opened right here the first thing which you would notice is we now have a welcome dialog now within the welcome dialog you can make some changes before you proceed to start making or creating your own art piece so if you like to get like a dark canvas if you like to change your keyboard to a certain type of keyboard in this case we have this set to Corel you can go in and set this to you know uh, Inkscape if you like Illustrator if you like let's actually go ahead and set this back to the default so you guys can see what it looks like and then you can change the appearance so the appearance can go all the way from colorful to grayscale all down to getting things like system default and for this we can simply set this as it is or we can go ahead and continue with the classic version of Inkscape now in most cases you like to get a dark themed looking UI but I have no idea why anyone would like to go for you know a white one but if this actually pleases you then you can also switch to that so with this done if you click on the save button this brings you right over here where you can support them or you can click on the thanks button and this is going to bring you over to time to draw where you can select the document type that you like to work with and of course we do have various type of document preset types that you can work with in this case we're just simply going to select screen for example click on this button and then get the 1080 version of our document size loaded in so once this opens up this is what inkscape looks like so you can just go in and select any of these objects from here and of course you can see that right here is where your tools exist and right over here is where your menus that has to do with saving, importing, exporting, cutting, pasting stuff exist. Within this part is more like your property bar and you get a couple of snapping tools that are right here. Your color palette stays here, your status bar and uh, some other stuff are right over here. Now some things to keep in mind is if you hold down control and roll your middle mouse button you can zoom in and zoom out and that is exactly how you do that here and if you roll your mouse button up and down you can actually pan up and pan down. If you hold down shift on the keyboard and you click and drag you can move left or right. So very very uh, simple to work with. So with that said let's create a simple background that we can work with. So I'm just going to click drag and drop this right here and you notice that we have a tiny node that we can use to either tighten this or make it a bit softer you know give it a couple of bevels so i'm just going to keep this one at that point select this and if you're someone like me that like working with layers you can turn on the layers and you would notice that there's a brand new docking system now which you can use to dock things so i can just click add that layer right there and we can lock this in place click add a brand new layer and we would have this layer that we can work with at this point so if you select a tool like this you can use this and create polygons and corners and stars and stuff like that so we can have that selected so i can click and we can make some changes like this and you can see this can help you create some beautiful looking effects and you can make some very nice looking things with this one so we can create that and keep that at that point let's give it a very nice color from the color palette something like this looks good all right so we can give it that kind of color maybe right click and give it some very nice stroke color which looks pretty pretty nice so we can do something like that and in this case if you're into copying and pasting stuff you can now paste things from your clipboard easily so when pasting an object from the clipboard into a canvas Inkscape would automatically now by default place it above the currently selected object so what happens is if you have something like this and let's say we have uh, something else like this so hold on control click and drag so they can get something better and let's just go in and make this selection now so if i copy this and i choose to paste this let's make sure that this is here and i choose to select this one and make the paste a ctrl v paste you would notice that it pasted it in some sort of intersection way so this pastes across or you know on top 
of the object so this now makes it way more usable in terms of placing object and for sure there is also a very tiny update that also deals with pasting stuff so let's say we have this object selected and then let's just position this one and then we also have this one selected you can now use some sort of pathfinding tool so what i mean by that is by default in vector apps there's something known as boolean tools and your boolean tools are tools that you can use to actually do things like uh, union do things like intersection those things are right here so if you go over to your path section and we would like to do some sort of differences we can now create differences between this and with that use the node tool make a selection so we can make a selection like this copy this selection make sure nothing is selected and we can paste this so in this case you can now use something like this to create exactly the same sort of things that you copied from a path by simply selecting the nodes and pasting this and of course this is definitely going to come in very very handy and in terms of things that can come in very handy there's an outline overlay display mode that you can work with actually go over to edit so we can go over to edit go over to preference and if our preference opens up you can now go over to rendering and from rendering you, you can make sure you have the outline overlay opacity turned on you would also notice that the preference now has a search bar which simply makes it easier for you to type in the word render and you can easily use that to search for things so in case we're looking for something like color as well we can also use it to search for things as we proceed and this can be very useful for those that are making things like line drawings and would like to have the outlines not being too visible while they work with things like this now with that said there is also a brand new update which you would definitely notice with this and this deals with the handle now the handles have been made more visible so just in case you would like to make things like uh, scaling let's say if you like to scale stuff maybe you like to move things around you can now see the handles and you can actually grab them way more better than before and of course there's a brand new update to the pen and pencil too so if you go over to the pen or you go over to the pencil we can select this one right here and we can make some drawing so if you do this by default you'd notice that this is how it looks but now there is a pretty new update so within the shape section we can select the lips and then we can select the scale so if you have a scale like this and you go in and you make something like so you can see what you can get so we can also do something like this and you can get that and if you reduce this let's reduce this a little bit and you go in and create something like so this is now something that makes a lot of sense for those who like to work with a pen tool so with the pen tool here you can make some changes to the shape you can also do some very cool stuff so we can also say something like triangular out with a triangular in and we can play with that and you can see what we're getting and if you like to get something like a triangular in you can have something like so and of course you can go in and play with the size and you can also reduce the size so some very nice updates are right here so this is uh, more like them and there's this beautiful update that is also here which i don't think uh, seems to work for me and that has to do with the question mark thingy so every single time that you hit the question mark there is supposed to be like a palette that drops down where you can find a couple of things and you can easily use this to search for operations menus and you can do some very nice things without using the shortcut keys on your keyboard but i've tried that severally and it seems not to be working for me now with that said as well there is also some very nice improvements to the text tool so the text tool does have a very tiny update that you might want to go in and check out for those who like to have some docking happening here yes you can so you can just go in and uh, click on any of this and you can dock them around there and you can see these things and you can actually move them from one point to the other or you can dock them out and you can have that you can just go in and close them off as well so some very nice improvements to inkscape and for those who like to read more about this update or maybe you want to read more about the release note i'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right over here where you can see some impressive updates and some impressive things that is now available in inkscape so tons of cool things coming from them and you might want to go in and read some of these things and for those who like to download inkscape i'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right over here where you can get a fresh copy of inkscape and you can start drawing freely and start creating your own stuff license free tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace